Here we are being asked to graph r equals 3 sine 2 theta. Now remember, whenever your equation is the form, r equals a sine n theta or r equals a cosine of n theta, you will get a rose curve. n tells you the number of petals. If n is odd, the rose has n petals. If n is even, the rose has two n petals. Now, in our problem, n is 2. And since that's even, ours is going to be a four petal rose. Now, to determine the orientation of the rose curve, what we're going to do is plug in some numbers for theta. Now, the numbers we normally plug in for theta would start with 0 to pi over 2. But what you have to do is, and then we would go pi over 2 to pi for the second quadrant. But with rose curves, what we do is we take the numbers we normally plug in and we divide them by n or multiply them by 1 over n. So here, 1 over n is 1 over 2. So if I multiply 0 times 1 over 2, I still get 0. If I multiply pi over 2 times 1 over 2, I get pi over 4. Same thing with the next row. You multiply the numbers you would normally plug in by a half. So the pi over 2 times a half is pi over 4. And the pi times a half gives us pi over 2. So let's go back to the first row and plug in 0 for theta. 2 times 0 is 0. The sine of 0 is 0. And 3 times 0 is 0. So when theta is 0, r is 0, which gives us the pole. Now if we plug in pi over 4 for theta. Pi over 4 times 2 is 2 pi over 4, which reduces 2 pi over 2. The sine of pi over 2 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. So for the theta of pi over 4, we get an r of 3. And since our r's are positive and our thetas are in quadrant 1, our points come out in quadrant 1. And to get the rest of the petal, we're going to plug in pi over 2 for theta. 2 times pi over 2 is pi. Sine of pi, 0. 3 times 0 is 0. And since r is 0, the graph now comes back to the pole. So that is the first petal. Now we said we we're going to have four petals and the four petals have to be evenly spaced around the 360 degree circle or in radians evenly spaced around the 2 pi circle. So that means we're going to have a petal every 90 degrees or pi over 2. So we now take our first petal and if we add 90 degrees or pi over 2 to it, it takes us to 3 pi over 4. And we know we have to have another pedal there. And then we add pi over 2 or 90 degrees to that. And we get our third pedal. And we add pi over 4 or 90 degrees to that. And we get our fourth and final pedal. So you see what the a value of the equation tells us. And in this problem, a is 3. It tells you how far away from the pole your petals extend.